day, we can very much overwhelm ourselves with, there are so many ways that I can improve my performance and recover faster and better. Focus on one thing, Focus on let that. it be for a month, even, even with regards to skill development, because this is what I find as well as that, like through structuring training and helping our clients to build their jujitsu schedules, we're able to then dissect, Hey, from a skill development perspective, how do you perceive success in jujitsu? Right. I think that that's really important because if I perceive my success to be on one thing this month, my development is based on, you know, perhaps one tactic up top, my top game, one in the bottom game. Okay. I'm going to work on my Della Hiva in the bottom and that's going to encapsulate, you know, my off balancing. Can I be consistent with that? And maybe one or two chains into that for this month. On my top game, I'm going to work on my Toriandos. I'm going to work on my variants of that Toriando and not just be, you know, a one size fits all type of guy. I'm going to work on, okay, how am I getting grips? Where am I setting my hands? And we're going to work on that. And hey, you may do so much more that month. But if I focus on the success of my session and my competitive rounds in that session, based on my technical and tactical prowess and development in those two things, one on my top game, one on my bottom, that's going to set me apart for, again, like you mentioned with those instructionals, if I'm then watching instructionals to reinforce those skills, I can accelerate that development through the, the sacrifice of one month, not even a sacrifice because it's the overall long-term development, but that slight edge work of specific training in that, in one or two things, that helps you then move forward in how you analyze your performance now. And now you're not getting down on yourself. Now you're able to be more mindful of your performance. You're able to celebrate the small wins. We hear about that all the time. And then from there, it's again, like we're just keeping everything simple. Sleep. One or two things that you're going to do this month for your sleep. Nutrition. One or two things. I'm going to add a cup of vegetables every meal. Perfect. That's awesome. You can worry about macros and you can worry about specific protein, got all that next month, one step at a time. We want to focus on building small habits and celebrating the heck out of those wins often. Everything is a gain. When you do, when you have that extra cup of vegetables, when you sit in the car for five minutes after jujitsu and you either journal in your phone or write down, I learned this today or my Toriando pass got better in this way. This is how many rounds I did. And this is how it felt that five minutes over the course of, you know, three, four days a week, right? That's like almost 20 opportunities a month that you've reflected five minutes, right? We, you know, it's all small things done consistently over time that absolutely transform our games. And that's what, again, we try to get super overwhelmed it happens in jujitsu because there's so much to learn and we're never done learning. No matter what level you are, there's always something new and skills adapt. But if we can just shut it down to thinking of one or two things in each part of my lifestyle, I'm going to go a lot longer of a way than trying to be also, everything has to be optimized. It's a lot, it's an infinite game. Yeah. It's an infinite game. It's an infinite game. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's true. You got to focus on one thing, like take your time, like sharpen that up and then go to another area. That's just what you got to do. Like one thing I think about that's cool with jujitsu is that the feedback is immediate. You know, you know, if your double leg worked or not right away, <laughs> you know, like it either yep. worked or it didn't. That's how it is with a lot of techniques. And I don't know. Life isn't like that. A lot of times in other areas, like sometimes with like business, like you don't necessarily know right 